Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Age Capture Live. I'm your host, Harry Bridgeforth, and I have today a very special guest, a friend of mine, uh, Senior Vice President of Marketing, Martial Arts Master, Fine Artist, Mr. Brian McClear. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How about yourself, Harry? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Long time no see. Um, and, and, you know, we just talked off camera. Uh, very well-rounded artist. You probably saw Brian's stuff um, in galleries. Um, he's got a book that's out, right? Um, he's got he's in magazines, um, and then he's got a long history with a lot of different art forms. Martial arts master. We 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 met doing uh, taekwondo uh, many years, um, going to tournaments, seeing the demo team, uh, yeah. family, father. Uh, yeah. You know, he's a very well-rounded guy. Um, so today we're gonna try to pick his brain a little bit. Uh, business mindset, but mainly focus on the art that he's uh, doing now. Um, and then we're also going to uh, ask him a couple questions. And then we're going to have um, six questions that are called uh, shotgun questions. They're questions that you're going to answer either this or that. Like if you like <laughs> hamburgers or hot dogs, they kind of pick into your personal, your personal yeah. life. Yeah, um, when I read that, don't think that did make me a little bit nervous. <laughs> so we're we're going to get into that, and then we'll do a little closure. We'll do some plugs, um, anything, that how they can reach you on social media, and then we'll be good to go, okay? Sound, sounds great. No, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for having me, man. It was great to, it was great to hear from you. It really oh, was. I've been, been watching you. Uh, I've been watching all the things you've been doing, keeping busy, and uh, it was nice chatting with you before we got on. So yeah, yeah thanks for the opportunity. Thank I mean, you. like I said, we're going to have some other stuff that's going to be going down. I'm definitely, I, if you need me for a model for one of them, I'm down. Um, yeah. I definitely want to go to one of your, your your shows. You send me the next uh, tickets. I'll take uh, take the wife. Um, uh -huh. I'll take Tosh, and, and that'll, be, that'll be a good night out. Um, I've been trying to get to, get to one. Uh, I know you're busy. I know I'm busy. I'm running around. You're running around. But we finally got it. Uh, so we'll make the best of it. It'd be great to have you. I'll, I'll try to... Uh, I'll, I'll... Uh, you know, watching your other, uh, watching your other broadcast, watching your other, uh, your previous guests. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot for me to, there's a lot for me to even live up to, to come kind of come close. So I'll, <laughs> I'll do, I'll do my best today. Here. I'll do my best. You're good. So you Don't worry. You're good. You've had some wonderful, you've had some great guests, man. I've really enjoyed watching. I yeah. really enjoyed watching your, yeah, I really, I mean, I like to, I like to, uh, I like to showcase like uh, anyone that's been on here, they know, like I want to showcase them and I've had people from different ranges, you know, so yeah. I don't really, I'm not picky on the people. I just know that I see talent. <laughs> I see people that are, that are talented people that maybe people don't know about. Um, people that are in my circle that people don't know that I know. Um, yeah. And it's just for me to help. That's all it really is. I just feel like this is a platform to help people and to showcase. So that's, it's a yeah. perfect person that as a fine artist to showcase his art, the stuff in the background, look at the stuff in the background. <laughs> Ridiculous. This guy is super talented. He's so modest, <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, besides that, um, you know, we, uh, we, we talk a lot about uh, education. So being an artist, you know, going into being an artist, um, how did you get into fine arts? Like, how'd you get into fine arts and painting? Cause painting is your forte, but you've been in, yeah marketing and advertising for years but how'd you yeah, get it it's uh it was one of those things like a, like a lot of kids man i always just loved to draw um and you know if tv was on i was usually drawing something laying on the you know laying on the living room floor and you know i was always drawing something uh yep. it was just, you know yeah it's just something i always wanted to do and um you know i was i was really fortunate you know my folks uh my my folks supported the idea of going to art school Mm -hmm. You know, they encouraged it. And, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, all through all through school, high school, whatever I took all the art classes I, I could and uh, ended up going to uh, Columbus College of Art and Design. Uh, okay. you know, that was my major. So I went to an art school and uh, it was a you know, four year college. And I, yeah, I loved it. Uh, I, I thought uh, I was going to I thought. I was going to be a painter and illustrator right out of school, but things, things didn't quite, you know, things didn't quite work out that way. You know? but, <laughs> Nobody knows the timing, right? Yeah. God, no God, only, timing. God only gives you that timing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So like my mom always used to say, you know, if you ever want to hear God laugh, just tell him your plan. But, uh, 
but yeah, so when I got out of uh, when I got out of school, uh, I worked uh, I worked as an illustrator for a while, doing some production artwork and stuff for uh, advertising agencies back in the day for uh, computers, you know, layouts for books, magazines. All the ads always had to be pasted up on boards, and they took photographs of the pages, and then those went to the print shops. Anyway. Uh, so that was kind of production work I did for a while, and then my, uh, you know, my bread and butter work was doing uh, storyboards, which was marker drawings nice. before, you know, before Photoshop, all that stuff. I was doing all the marker comps for the ads for people to sell TV commercials and uh, and ads, and uh, that was work I was doing all the time. And uh, at this time, I was, um, you know, dating my wife and things getting serious and I've been freelancing <laughs> for about seven years and right. at that time and uh you know one of the agencies a small company uh offered me a offered me a full-time job about the time I was getting married and uh I took, yeah Are and you? it was just it just worked out a wonderful uh, wonderful company they were uh, I was their uh I was one of their first hires so there were four of us at the time and uh, you said I was a uh, you said I was a VP, uh, no longer a VP there. I worked for the <laughs> same company. I worked for the same company for uh, 26 years. There you go. Uh, I worked for the same company for 26 years. Started when there was uh, three, four of us, and by the time I was left, there was uh, 53. Okay, folks, uh, a fantastic marketing firm in Avon, Connecticut, uh, Adams and Knight. Nice. Uh, but yeah, so uh the painting all that stuff kind of went by the wayside i mean yeah. the hardest part about being an artist right is we always got to figure out a way to to, to feed family feed ourselves oh. and you know it, it sucks because it's very seldom that we get paid for our art right you know? uh but it does you know you can you know it, it, yeah. that, that's what i mean like look at look at you now you wouldn't have gotten to the place that you are now unless you had those skills to begin with. And it may not be exactly what you wanted. Right. Well, I'm I'm really grateful. I was kind of disappointed at the time. You know, I mean, I had uh, uh, the, you know, Adams Knight, uh, phenomenal, very creative uh, marketing firm. And so I got a, a lot of creative opportunity, got to work with a lot of great, uh, amazing uh, people. Um, but, uh, you know, it got to the point where, you know, when I think about it in retrospect, it's one of those things, if I was making a living providing for family and I was thinking about painting yep. and just painting, I would have had to approach it a completely different way. Right. Yep. What? Yeah. Every time I sat down, I'd be thinking about what's going to sell, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and now the time when I would normally have been retiring, yep. I'm, I'm kind of come into a second career. And be think and be painting really for myself. And and, so, and what, you what have do like I want to paint piece. today? Yeah, what do I want to paint today as opposed to yep. having to worry about whether or not it does sell? Yep. You know, which uh, which is a luxury. I wouldn't have had that before, but now I do. Mm -hmm. And I think because I'm painting, you know, sometimes really kind of odd stuff that I want to do I find interesting, yep. it's a little bit different. And now I think I have probably more interest in what I'm doing now, you know, mm -hmm. from others then had I been thinking, okay, what's going to sell today? Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. You know, you know, I know, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's hard. It's hard when you're, um, when you have clients yeah. and you're thinking about, okay, my electric bill is such and such or my rent, you know, or my mortgage. It's like my car note is coming and I need to get something that, like you said, I can sell. Right. I can't think about being creative or taking a chance. You know what I mean? And that yeah. takes away from being an artist. Like that's what an artist is, is, your right. your expression used on a medium you know yeah. what i mean so it's kind of like uh it, it's hard but i think we as people we kind of feel like there's a time that we should be doing this right like this is happening to you at the perfect time because now you're able to be that type of artist the artist that we see with all this stuff all over the place <laughs> now and yeah. you've gotten that experience. You've gotten the, the kids are big. You, the, the the job as a husband, father, and yeah. now you get to be the artist. So you know yeah. that's the way. Like I said, going back is like you never know. God has a plan, and we yeah. always feel like it's not the right one. But it's like yeah, but it is. Yeah, you're right. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm very fortunate. I started. Uh, I started uh, when the girls were starting college, about four, 
I don't know, about four years or so ago, uh, I started painting again in earnest. Um, you know, coming home, thinking that uh, I hadn't painted for quite a while just because I thought I had to, you know, this whole idea of I need to set aside eight hours yeah. to, do, to get anything done. I need right. to set aside a day. And you know how it is. You have kids, you have other responsibilities. You got to, you know, when do you ever have eight hours? Eight hours. You never oh, have eight hours that you don't. And if you do have eight <laughs> hours, man, I want to sit down. Yeah, I got to, <laughs> I got to focus. I got to take my time with this. You know, let me work on this groove in the chair a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, uh, I, I realized that, and this was, this was, you know, we, like you said, we met in Taekwondo and uh, it, it was kind of the same thing with Taekwondo where, uh, you know, I didn't do. I've never done. I'd never done any of that until I was uh, until I was forty two. The mm -hmm. girls were young. I started taekwondo when I was forty two, and um, it, you know, it's like, man, it's gonna take it's gonna take three, four years before I get a black belt. Black belt, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm forty two. Really, it's like, oh, at forty two, it's like, man, I'm gonna. Well, realize, you know, I'm gonna be forty six anyway. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be forty six with a black belt. And that's the mentality of somebody that is always thinking, okay, it's not, I'm not pessimistic. It's not like, okay, it's going to be four years. It's like, I'm like you said, I, time doesn't wait for nobody. I'm going to be 40 yeah. regardless. So what am I doing in the next, you know, four years? Am I going to be doing something that I can look back and say those yeah. four years, I got a black belt or I got a, I got a new job. I got new, I, I bought I'm, something, whatever, whatever the idea that you have planned. If you don't have a plan for nothing, you're just moving. You're just, yeah, it, you know? it, yeah. Time's gonna pass anyway. It's gonna pass regardless. And, uh, so I was, you know, in that respect. You know, you know, you know my, you know my daughters. Yep. Uh, you, you've met them. We start. We all start at the same time. Uh, they were six and seven when they started, and you know, we went through. We tested. We trained together, mm -hmm. and you know, as you know, that was what 17, 18 years ago. And um, but anyway, same thing with the painting. Four years ago, thinking I wasted all this time. In retrospect, thinking I had to wait for big blocks of time, and, and all I did was uh, set up my easel next to the living room, uh, so that uh, you know I could get up and paint an hour, two hours a night here and there. Chip you away, know, there. Chip away at it uh, just a little bit, and you know I wasn't up on the next floor where my easel used to be. I could still be in line of sight with my wife. We could still talk. I'd feel like I was not like running away. Yeah, like, yeah. You're not. Out. You're not neglecting her. You're not yeah. Neglecting her. So, so you know, I could get up, paint for and just two hours, one hour, two hours here and there. Um, the first year, I think finished like you know, I think I finished like 20, 30 paintings. Mm. You know, just an hour, two hours at a time, and it's like you know, and that kind of went on for a few years, and. Uh, uh, you know, and as I were mentioning, you know, as of uh, August, I'm painting full time now, and yep. uh, just, yeah, just I'm really enjoying it, and getting back to <laughs> and, and getting back to teaching uh, Taekwondo. So see, I'm, there I'm, you go. Yeah, see? So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, see? and 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 now you have now you have the piece that you probably because the way that God works was like, look, Bri, you're gonna have this time, but you need to focus on this to take care of your kids. I'm gonna give you a little taste of what you went to school for and what you love but when it's yeah. time you're gonna have your time and now you have and that and look at the results you know what I mean? like, you can't complain with the results man like you, i'm telling you you guys you guys got to check out his gallery it's, it's ridiculous the way the talent this oh. guy has so oh, oh you know, thanks. And that's uh, artist to artist you know because that like no he's being very uh, honest very much. Oh, thank, no, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you very much. Man. No, that means that means that means a lot. That means a lot. Yeah, it was, um, but you know, like a, but you know, even so, I was still, I was still pretty nervous to be starting. You know, it's that whole mm -hmm. thing. You know, um, you know, a, a writer, musician, yeah, yeah. whatever. You know, sit down there looking at that blank page or whatever. You know, <laughs> like I, I gotta yeah, get. Like, oh my gosh, right? I have to rethink yeah. this every time. Uh, and then uh, I, I kind of thought about the one thing I, the one thing that was always kind of a challenge, you know, in the day to day work with the, with the deadlines, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's got to be done. Got to be done. So with yeah. painting, uh, with painting, I still I still like the idea of deadlines. I still like the things from the marketing, but um, I realized that uh, you know if 
it's not happening on something, uh, you know, I don't want to beat it to death either. I want to kind of keep the painting fresh. So I kind of got into, I had, uh, I kind of get the habit of having uh, two paintings going all the time. Okay. Uh, I, I like still life and I like, I've always loved doing portrait work. So yeah. I, I started doing, uh, I started doing two separate projects. So I'd always have a still life going and then portraits and then to make things uh, easier, I decided I wasn't going to paint anybody I know. Not off the start idea. anyway, you know. It's like, oh, that, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, it was funny because, well, you know, you're like, you're worried about. Yeah, yeah, you don't want them to be like, oh, you look bad. Or, or, no, or, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, um, yeah, so, I don't care though. I'm getting mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, that's fine. But the funny thing was that I, uh, I, work, I was working with somebody that had that had, that had a sleeve. Okay. Uh, a full sleeve, and I thought, oh, this would be that, that would be fun to paint somebody that has all this artwork on them. On on them, yeah. So now you got to do. Yeah. Them. So right, yeah, and um, I he introduced me to his tattoo artist, and uh, I I did a I did a portrait of her, and then did another portrait but when i was painting strangers it was just more i just want to do the painting yeah and i wasn't worried about anybody yeah. but just painting yeah. and the likenesses came so much faster when i wasn't really worried about it when i was just kind of relaxed and it was just for me and you know and that, that, that's what was really cool so i've, I've been doing the series of the, the tattoo portraits and i've awesome. met some i've met some amazing i've met some amazing <laughs> It's, it's been a it's been a blast you know i yeah. mean like going segueing into the next question is like yeah. what is the out of everything what's the the greatest challenge of being a painter because you said before it's like you know you don't do certain things now you 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 want to work on two different products to help you with certain things so what's the great what's the hardest challenge what's the greatest challenge that you have as a painter i you know well i won't you know i i'll speak as as myself as mm -hmm. a painter because i you know everybody has everybody has their own challenges yeah 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 you, you know everyone has their own challenges you know for for me uh to be honest with you man so many of the challenges you know so many of the challenges have been removed because i've been able to relax and just paint what i enjoy there you go um and the and now that uh, and now that, you know, I'm starting to show in some places and things are, you know, going about, I do have that little bit of, I mean, small, you know, small, small success in areas mm -hmm. where I feel like, oh, that was, that was, that was well received. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and trying not to say, oh, that was well received. Let me do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, but you got and, that. And yeah. But you have a you have that piece of a piece of mind and that confidence now. You're like, oh, okay, that worked. Okay, I got yeah. that. Oh one no, I mean that piece of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, man. To be honest with you, it's 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 very short lived. My my, my <laughs> wife always laughs. You know, you know, I'll get something in a show or you know something sells, and mm -hmm. it's like, uh, uh, you know, that that's just me. Yeah, you know, that's like, oh man, I feel great for like the day. Mm. And a couple of days later, it goes by. It's like, oh, I don't know, you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I think, I think as as an artist in general, I think we all were overcritical on ourselves as well. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, like this. Like, you'll, I guarantee, I'll look at a painting of yours and be like, oh my god, how'd you do that? And you'd be like, I don't really like that one. And you'd be like, wait, what? Why? Because no. you're you're doing it. But when someone that can't do that, or someone that does something like it, but they can't, they haven't painted that particular picture. They yeah. get respect where it's due. You know what I mean? So like you are going to be way more critical on your own stuff than I would or someone else. You know what I mean? Well, it's a, it's an interesting thing. You know, I, I, you know, um, you know, musicians, actors, anyone in the arts or, you know, uh, it, it's, it's kind of tough doing the whole thing. Like you said, the, you know, it, natural things kind of helped out a lot because Doing the whole thing of being a freelancer, uh, you know, yeah. and somebody's, you know, hoofing the portfolio from door to door, showing mm -hmm. it, you know, kind of like going up for cold calls or whatever for, as an actor, or yep. Yep. you know, um, you, you you either you, you kind of get a thick skin pretty quick, or you realize it's not that big a deal. 
Yeah. Um, but the first time I, I, you know, I, I kind of threw myself at it. I, I started doing, um, they have uh, calls for artists, you know, for you enter into shows and stuff. So that's why I started doing. And I was, it, it, that scared the, that scared the, <laughs> scared me to death. And uh, yeah, it was, it was funny. I, I talked to some folks and, um, you know, I, I was lucky. I'd visit, I'd start seeing some galleries. And one, one of the guys was, uh, one of the guys that was gallery sitting in, uh, you know, he was, uh, I was commenting on a painting. It, it, it happened to be his wife's. And fortunately, you know, it's like, oh, this is beautiful. Fortunately, <laughs> yeah, well, that's my wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, oh, no, it's said, not beautiful. No, 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 no. You know, and he said, you know, it's funny. He said that, uh, he said that the first, because I think it had ended up winning best to show mm. that particular painting in that exhibit. But the previous show she entered in, it didn't, didn't even get in. Right. And, you know, and that was before I really started entering some stuff. And sure enough, man, it happens all the time. You yeah. know, I'll enter, you know, you'll enter paintings and shows or exhibits or museum shows and, uh, you know, might not get in a local show and it gets, turns around, gets in a national show. National you, show go, yep. you go, you go, you enter three, four things and nothing happens and you start thinking, oh my gosh. And then yeah, I don't, this ain't for me. And then all of a sudden you land that role. It's like, what? Wait, yeah, wait. and then something right, and the lamp roll comes in, or all of a sudden something comes, you know, it's just that the, the you know, or or someone like you know, someone like yourself says, "Hey, you know, I'd like to talk to you." It's like that that little boost, you know, <laughs> we all gonna boost each other. I mean, right? I mean that that's that's how it works, you know. what I mean, because yeah. I think I think ultimately, as an artist, I think that is like the first ground point of any like if you want to use the term like a hustler, like someone that actually is like a person that works for themselves, independent yeah. contractor, you know, we're talking about freelance work, but we're, we're, you're making money off of something that you have a talent and you have a, you have a talent. Yeah. It's not like you just have a skill, you have a talent, something that someone else doesn't, they're not born with, like you have it. So yeah. it's up to you to kind of like, you know, go to school, harness your craft and then be able to utilize it so that you can be successful and success is everyone's, Person, you know their their perspective of success. Some people yeah. they need to be millionaires. Some people getting stuff in your galleries. Some people just making a song. You know, it all depends on yeah. what level of success you want to call it. But at the yeah. end of the day, if you are actually doing something that you love to do and you're having fun, right? I mean, that's that's the to me. Yeah, that's, yeah, you know? yeah, it is. And I I tell you, and something else just kind of occurred to me as as we're you know talking back and forth too is that now that I do have more more time. The other thing that I've been able to do that I really, um, that I really love is taking the time to go to other people's openings. Yo, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just seeing other, you know, and but you're you in know, that, you're in that, that vein now. So it's like, yeah, oh, you're, up, you're in that, or you know, whether whether it's supporting or just seeing the work or just seeing what other people mm -hmm. are doing. Yeah, it's it's nice because I, I those that's something I wouldn't have been I wasn't able to do before. And then you start meeting and talking and oh, check this out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got a thing I want you to come to. And then before you know it, you're in that gallery, you're in that one, yeah. you're in that show. Or even if it's yeah, or even if it's not for yourself, it's just yeah. it's just fresh when you hear someone else's music or what they're doing or somebody else is excited about something. You're taught the excitement. It's contagious. Yeah. You yeah. know or. You know, somebody does a somebody does a great performance or something. It's like, oh yeah, man, I, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, you get charged up because you're an artist. That's what it is. Yeah. We all we you all have that um that piece of you. It's like um, uh, it's like if you ever talk to like a scientist, like a scientist yeah. that talks to another scientist. Once they start talking about chemicals and chemical compounds, and they're like, oh, oh what? <laughs> and then it's like you you just get the it, it's the chemistry. You know what I mean? Right. So if you're an artist you're naturally going <laughs> to talk about anything that's related to art and it kind of like correlates. Like if you're a musician, it works as you know, the same type of struggle, you know, yeah. the same type of uh, skills that you need. You need the same type of disciplines, the time. That's why I say it doesn't really matter yeah. what you do as an artist, but if you are one, you kind of relate to everyone else. So, yeah. Um, and, and get out there, get out there. And, okay. Yes. And like you said, you know, kind of support each other, be there, go to like, go to those shows or, you know, go to the plays or whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. I get yeah. guys that are on uh, my show and they're like, um, we all have some type of thing that we're linked to. Cause most of the people that I, I, I have on my show, I've, I've, I've been involved in some avenue that they're in. 
Yeah. But a lot of the guys that are actors, and I, that's a post, you know, piece for me. Right. But a lot of people that are actors, I relate to them because I understand the struggle of actually how many no's you get versus how many yeses you get. You right. know what I mean? And then when you get that yes, you wouldn't have gotten that yes if you quit on that last no. Oh yeah. That's like the most beautiful thing of any art is, like from any range, it's you get more no's and you get yeses. And anyone will tell you that. <laughs> but that means that like you're, that creates that tough skin, that creates that right. the artist at the end of it. Now you have your story. How many people said no? How many galleries you didn't get into? And now it made you a better artist. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like it's part of the road, just like martial arts, right? You fail a whole bunch yeah. of times breaking boards, and then <laughs> you, you break your board, you get your belt, you're like, okay, it's not really the belt. I don't really care about the belt. I got, I got here. I did it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, started, yeah, you know, like starting when I did. You know, I, I had to come to the realization pretty quick to assume there's going to be some things I, I was never going to be able to do. Yeah, I can't do it. Right. I'm, 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 well, if I do do it, it's going to be something I'm going to either be in the hospital with or, you know, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I, I got to go to work next day. Yeah. Yeah. Even when I was young, I was never getting that much air under me. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so... Yep. And you, you know, you accept that. You do your you do your best and keep go, you keep going, you know. But yeah, it's but you know how it is. Uh you you're a lot you're a lot younger than me. So I look at you and you yeah, say, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at the young guys do the same thing, I'm like, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna sit over here at the desk. I'm not doing it. But uh, but like it, it's just like anything else. You 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 work your way up, right? You go through the, the, the rough patches. You understand you learn from it um and then uh at the end of the day you you can you can teach someone right i remember denzel washington said that he was like you for you 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 learn or you 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 gain one teaches one or i forget his his phrase but it's basically like you get on and then you help somebody else get on and that's yeah. the way that all artists should should work you right. do your thing and as you're doing your thing you're helping the person behind you that's a couple of steps behind you but to, for them to catch up, you got to help them. You can't yeah. just be selfish and be like, I'm going to get mine. Because if you get it, that's not how you progress. Yeah. The best yeah. way is like if you help somebody else and you actually see them like, oh, they're good. They're they're doing their thing. Like you said, you see an artist. Oh, they yeah. got to get, oh, I remember when they weren't in a gallery. Oh, they, yeah. they, they finally got their first show. And they're like, oh, yeah, Brian, I want you to go to my first show. And you go there and there's somebody there. And they're like, oh, yeah, I know you. Oh, yeah. You... Yeah. 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 So, that's the yeah, deal. Yeah, it'll be interesting because it'll be interesting to see how things work out. Because you know, as in martial arts, when you start when you start teaching, you start looking closer at what you're doing yourself. What you're you know, doing yourself. It, it yeah. cleans up some of what you're doing anyway because you you start explaining to somebody else and realize that some right. of the things you're explaining. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I'm not doing what I. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And uh, so I'm teaching. I'm teaching again. Uh, okay. But, but more not have some time, and I'm also starting to teach. Uh, I'm also starting to do some teaching some painting. Uh, okay. Here, doing some workshops. Okay. So uh, it'll be interesting <laughs> if the same thing happens on the art side. Oh, you already know it's gonna. It's gonna, gonna happen. Ooh. It's gonna happen. You'd be like, wait a minute. Yeah. I, oh, hey, let me start over. <laughs> yeah, I better go home and fix that. Yeah. Let me fix that. But that's part of it. That's the growing pains, right? Yeah. yeah. So going into like going into artists in general, who is your favorite artist, and how did they inspire you? Oh man, it you know it. It changes. It's really, it's really all over the place. It it really is. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a real soft answer. I'm yeah. Gonna give you a real soft answer. Um, I love. I I'm across the board. You know, for portrait painting and that kind of stuff. For doing portraits. You know, some of the, you know, you know, uh, Sergeant Chase. Uh, you know, Henry. These these these. You know. Kind of, you know, turn of the century, mid-century artists. You know, just you just you you, you just love. You look at the you look at the uh, you look at the work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. But uh, these days, um, I like I like realist work. I like abstract work. It, it <laughs> I, I just, you know, I just I just like it. You know, it's like is you know, I know people have their their flavor. You know, their bent music. But yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Some people they have like I only get, you know? I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's the same way with music. It's like, you know, jazz, blues, what you know, whatever, you know. Uh, but yeah, so 
So myself growing up, you know, impressionist painters for like landscapes and stuff. When I was a little kid drawing stuff, it was, I don't know, do you remember like outdoor life? Do you ever, do you ever yeah. see that? You know, yeah. go back. I, I have no idea. Even I mean, it's dating. I don't even know if they that, have it anymore. It's dating me. What it, my yeah, brother was know. older than me, and he got like outdoor life. And they always have like big animals, deer, whatever on the yeah, car. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> growing up in the Midwest, but yeah. So I mean, as a kid, man, I was you know all the all the covers of the magazines. I'd be trying to draw the animals, whatever. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it changes as you go along. Now it's like you know, God, you know, anybody that's make just like doing people make a living doing what they love man yeah that, i admire those guys you know that I, 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 one, of, one of my main things and i probably hopefully you know god gives me time um is uh, comic books like that was a huge yeah. thing for me so a lot of the comic book artists that i grew up like reading their comics you know looking at their covers looking at their artwork interior yeah. and seeing the process and then now actually kind of being in the industry to some degree and seeing how it's all formulated and how things work, it kind of made me understand better of if I ever were to create one, what what angle I would go and yeah. and the things I would try to avoid and the things that I would just go, you know, full steam. But like you said, there's so many different influences. I like to pick people's brains to see if maybe, you know, you particularly like a particular style and that's the reason what we can see through your stuff. Um, yeah, you know, I, the, the things that always, yeah, the things that always catch me, like for portraits and stuff, a mm -hmm. lot of, a lot of people go back to, you know, as I said, like Sergeant and Chase and you hear these names, you know, because yeah. they look, they make things look so effortless, effortless you know, describe yeah. so much with a simple brush stroke, mm -hmm. um, you know, but my gosh, you know, uh, for me, uh for me i like painting big that's it, you know, right now right now i like painting large and mm -hmm. i like things even though i mean i paint big they look tight when you look at them on the phone on the computer yeah uh, they're they're fairly painterly though uh -huh. fairly broadly painted i mean you know I, I tried it because i spent so much time on a computer with a mouse yeah you know you yep. know and now moving my arms more than just doing this <laughs> and, you know be able to move my arm and kind of get a little dirty and yeah and, yeah you like it yeah kind of leave it the paint and you know because you know a lot of the a lot of the areas might just be the the stained canvas from the beginning you know that yep. day one paint yep. i kind of like that yeah you know, that doesn't mean i can't appreciate people that really like noodling these hyper realists mm -hmm. yeah that's just yeah it's amazing I, I mean like everyone has their own style and, I, and, yeah. and, I, and hopefully hopefully um you know you you're 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 doing enough where you you have like a look like like you start having like a feel like someone says oh that's a mcclair art you know what i mean that's yeah. that's his style you know what i mean that's his thing and i think that that just comes with like overall like timing i think it's just like the same thing like you said you do it yeah. now you're getting used to doing it and you're actually loving doing it and yeah. like i said i i couldn't i couldn't really tell you like oh you're doing this wrong or that don't look right like to yeah. me everything looks great you you oh. are gonna you're gonna look at it and you know break it down piece by piece and i i guarantee like another painter would you know critique certain things but that's just part of it that's like that's like um positive criticism and anyway. yeah yeah and, yeah and that's and that's fine there's always things i'll be uh you know uh, you know I, i'll be able to prove technically or the same kind of thing uh you know it's that kind of that ten thousand hours rule you know yep yep, yep. you know give me another ten thousand hours i'll be approaching things differently you know yep. uh, you know <laughs> but uh what what i what i think makes everybody unique beyond just how they might ap apply paint or how they you know you know finger a, a, a fret or whatever just beyond the, the technicality is you know the idea behind you know and that's kind of what i'm excited about because some of my stuff is really kind of weird you know i mean uh, but it doesn't matter it's, it doesn't like, matter it doesn't stuff. matter you know so <laughs> you know the surface might change a little bit over the years but you know mm -hmm. that's one of the things my wife you know heidi uh you know uh you know i made her promise me is you know don't you know don't uh don't ask me why 
I want yeah. to just let me do it. Just let me do it. Never come out. Never come out. Let me do it. Leave me alone. Just let me do it. Yeah. yeah. I, I've always kind of joked because man, I'm that I'm that guy that you know I'd be at a wedding and stuff, and I'm I'm out there having fun, you know. Mm -hmm. Just uh, let me live my unless, life. Unless there's a unless there's a mirror next to the dance floor. <laughs> and, and I you, catch... Well, I had, a, I, had, I had a friend of mine. He's a prophet, right? Um, yeah. He was on my show, I, um, uh, Frank Turner, and um, we had a discussion about it. And I think, I think you know, I I I don't like to always quote to people and things like that, but I believe in God. Um, so I think that when you're given a a, a talent. Um, you have a calling. So when you have a calling, it's like, it's something that's always there. We don't know, like going back to what we said before, we don't know when the timing is right, but it's always there. And then it, when it's ready, it's gonna project. And it's like something that you have to do. It's something that just comes yeah. natural. It's just there all the time. And that's something, like I said, that like for you, this is this is your calling. It just, it you can tell. You don't just get to be able to do that and, from you know someone teaching you you have to either have it or you don't and i think that even when i was in college when they were talking about like artists that were digital artists right yeah like, like the boards together and oh right. this shape goes together this typography and, and and your letting and all that other stuff right but there are certain people that just they see it and they can create something without someone explaining how to do it and that's the difference between someone having a talent and having a skill you can be taught how to be an artist but to be an artist you have to have a talent and that's really the that's really why i think artists in any genre are are are, are sought after because you it's not that's something that you just can't get you have to you have to have it or you don't have it you know what i mean yeah i yes i agree with you i'm just i i aspire to be comfortable with being in that category <laughs> i'll see if it's there at some point but yeah I, you're modest i, 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 tell you I actually agree with you when i'm talking about other people yeah yeah I, other people I, yeah, just, yeah they're yeah, gonna, gonna, gonna have yeah, the comments about, like i don't know what this guy's talking about yeah hey, no for me it's like, oh, i don't know but thanks for having me um but <laughs> <laughs> but no you, you know when i look at other when i look at other artists you know, you know musicians actors you know for me yeah or you know abstract painters versus realist yeah. painters, whatever. Yep. Um, there's a, for me, you know, I respond to, there's this kind of, a, there's a sincerity to their work. Yeah. You know, they're not going through the motions for somebody else. They're doing it for them, yeah. They're, yeah. Doing, it, they're doing it for them. I mean, there may be some altruistic thing, you know, of what they do, they're doing it for other people, but there's a sincerity to it, you know? Yeah. And I, I think that, that, that kind of, that comes across in people's work. Mm -hmm. I, I hope to get there myself. Yeah, I hope to get there myself and kind of you know keep, kind of keep things and not do it for, you know, do it that other people enjoy it and mm -hmm. you know want to you know want to take uh, take part and appreciate it. But yeah, there like you said, man, when somebody's up there acting and there's uh, there, you can tell the difference. Yeah, right. You, tell the difference. Uh, you, you can can't tell really it. describe it, but you can tell. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah, you can yeah. tell when someone's like, oh, they're there for a paycheck. Okay. You know, and then there's someone that would do that without getting paid. It's like, wait, I can tell you, like, that's just, you love that character. You got into that role, you you know, and it's just, I don't, I don't really, I don't really talk down on anyone that does it either way. Right, right. I just look at it like, you know, if you're an artist, I hope, like you said, I hope to get to that level where not only are you, you know, economically comfortable to be able to focus yeah. just on that. Yeah. But then you're also able to mentally be there where you're not worried about other people's yeah. opinions of your stuff. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. And it's and it's not always there for me. And like I said, mm -hmm. I don't want to beat things to death. That's why I like having two two easels. Yeah. You know, if I, if something I feel like something's forced, and I'll go over to the other easel and work on the other painting for a while, or set something aside uh, until I know what I want to do with something. Mm -hmm. uh, but other times, and I'm sure you you know you've been there yeah. and. There are other times when you you when well, I sit down or you do you know you're doing what you're doing and things are just effortless. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just that that's what's supposed to be that day. And you look up and it's six <laughs> hours later and you're like, oh, oh my God. yeah, and it's like, wow, yeah, yeah that was fun. You know? thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those are those are great days. Uh, what do you? What would you do? Um, what would be your dream as an artist? 
and what are your future plans? Like, what would what would you be your your um, like your dream thing to do? And what would be your what are your future plans for people that that follow you? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. So uh, a couple uh, a couple different you know uh, a couple different things there. Um, so you know, I think that for me being successful for this you know is not you know continue you know yeah you know continued gallery you know shows mm -hmm. showing in galleries and all that stuff yeah that'd be absolutely wonderful fantastic great um <laughs> who would who you know who, yeah, who wouldn't, wouldn't want that? yeah who wouldn't want that you know um hopefully you know hopefully that hopefully that does hopefully that does happen but uh you know if if you know, if I sit down, hopefully I, I sit down and have continue to have more of those days where things are effortless, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it just sit down and things, you know, and just love being at the easel. That's what, that's what I want. And, and if it happens that when people see it, some people respond to it and really enjoy it, you know, and so, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's, 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 a, that's the thing, you know, first time I, first time I really sold a painting that was really, I thought very different. Yeah. And you're like, um, yeah, yeah, I thought it was like really that? different. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I tell you what, you know, it was wonderful to, it was wonderful to sell something. You know, it, that's that's great, but the idea, the idea that someone wanted enough to bring it in their home, home, oh, yeah, and the, and they and they paid money, like good money for something, and they're going to take care of it. The, the habit, you created. yeah, because. Because they wanted it in their home, and I mean oh, that, yeah. that meant that means a, that means a lot to me. Yeah, man. You know, um, yeah. So it's kind of beyond what you know the the sale or whatever. But yeah, you know, still those you know those, you know I have those days where things are effortless. Fantastic. I'll, I'll, I'll always continue to paint. And if along the way, people look at something and want something in their hot home, yeah, that, that just that, that that'd be wonderful. Make sure all the fans make sure you go to his gallery and buy something. It, it, won't, it won't be a waste. <laughs> I'm gonna promote you to the end. It won't be a waste. Wow. It won't be a waste. <laughs> <laughs> the last, the last thing is because you know, um, our last question before we get into the shotgun uh, questions um, <laughs> is uh, for for the technicalities of uh, being an artist and being a like I always consider like you could be an artist and just do that. And then there's a professional artist, which you're, you know, you're making money, you're getting your stuff in the galleries, you're right. out there, you're getting your name known. Um, for someone like that, and going into like your publications, like you have, a, you know, you're in a magazine, you're mm -hmm. in uh, books and things like that. Can you explain to the audience or someone that might be interested in doing like that? How was how was that process? And what would, what did you do to do that? Like to get into like a publication? Um it's i've been i've been very fortunate there's a lot of, and I, like, as i said i feel like i'm uh in many many respects i'm kind of just starting out and just starting to get some exposure on that just starting to get some exposure on that level which is uh which is wonderful um for me uh uh for me uh, for me Art's been been become a little bit easier, and I think it might be for other uh, art, you know, other fields of art as well. But for uh, you know, fine artists, there's a lot of online uh, online uh, search engines for artist calls mm -hmm. uh, across the country. So you can, you know, for me, I was able to say, I'm going to enter this show, I'm going to enter this show, I'm going to do this museum show, whatever it is. And, you know, I was able to kind of put those in front of me uh, as, you know, kind of light fires under my backside saying, OK, I'm going to enter this show, I'm going to enter this show, and I'm going to have uh, this painting done by this show. And that's uh -huh. what I was kind of doing for myself. And some I would get into, some I wouldn't. Uh, the first uh, first couple of magazines, uh, first couple of things I ever gotten uh, publications were because of those kind of shows, you know, the magazine was covering a particular show or a magazine, you know, or a, a gallery show. Um, and just, I've, 
and you know, I, and I, I just have to keep plugging away at it. And that's the way it's kind of worked out for me. So um, I've had people approach me because of a show I was in, and then it turns out, you know, I, one of those things is like I've been in I've been in galleries, I've been in some gallery shows. Uh, very fortunate where uh, where it's been kind of group shows you'd enter. And mm -hmm. I had this idea, okay, I'll have this, uh, it'll, you know, I, I hope to be in a commercial gallery at, at some point at the, you know, uh, you know, as opposed to a non, not profit gallery or, uh, you know, I'll give myself two years after I start paying full time. And, you know, lo and behold, before I even Work. start paying full time, but yeah, it's just things align and someone approached me and, you know, it, it just happened to, and, you know, and you just, you just, just grateful but for me it was for me it was one of those things where i could just plug away at mm -hmm. the online like we were talking just yeah we were talking yeah online. yeah the world in some some ways things have gotten so much easier easier yeah yeah where you can you can't enter things you can't get work in front of people mm -hmm. um and uh and also uh and as i said i kind of let i I love doing it just to be part of the community or, or to join the community, but yep. going to as many other people's shows as I can. Yeah, and then seeing uh, like people are doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, and I'm not going in there to say I'm not going in there to, you know, to say oh okay, please try and talk to the gallery owner. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that, that's that's not it. You know, it's like. Yeah. But but you do get to meet people and you know and I've been invited for some group shows uh, after I get to know some people. Oh great, you know we're putting together a group show. Would you like to you know have a couple pieces? And yeah. it's that kind of community that's 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 great. So yeah, it's that it goes that's back to that artist that artist to artist like love. It's like we all kind of know what the other person's going through. So it's it's like the, one of the biggest families that you have if you just say oh you're an artist and they say oh what kind and then you say you you're a painter or you're a drawer or you're a yeah. musician it's like oh you want we understand we understand come on come on yeah we, we, and, get out. It, you know and my work's my work's a little bit different it's you know it's large you know they're large pieces and uh yeah. but other people i know that i've gotten to know through social media you know they might have uh they might have you know there's a couple of people that might have like twenty thousand followers Mm -hmm. and they do yeah. small work and their work is their work was through their through yeah. their channel that's what i mean you would never and you would never know about it if it wasn't for like instagram facebook you know twitter and stuff like that so like the social media um has changed and we had a conversation i had a conversation with another uh one of my guests it's kind of like like anything that's related to like a science it depends on the yeah. person how you use it you know what i mean it can right. be very detrimental to your life if you aren't a person that is able to understand like how to utilize it but it can yeah. be very beneficial to your life if you can use it the right way um especially when it comes down to artists because it's you're you're able to be shown to so many other people you don't know who's gonna like what you know what i mean right. depending yeah, on who, who likes it yeah you, i know some one minute you could be a a, a a person with with five followers and then tomorrow yeah <laughs> 50,000, you know what I mean? That's what I said. But at one point, you're going to be there. I'm, I, I can already see, foresee it. You're going to well, be there. Well, I, you know, we'll, we'll see. Who, who knows what holds, but uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep plugging away. But even now, yeah, but even now, you know, it, it's funny. I used, uh, but even now, you know, the so the followers, I, uh, you know, the followers I do have, you know, um, you know, it's kind of interesting that, you know, I'll, I'll put something out and somebody might respond, to that, hey, let me know if you ever, See? Uh, if you ever need a model, See? Even, even the stuff for the uh, even the stuff for the portraits. It's yeah, because like, you like you said, yeah. you don't you don't know you don't know what they are doing in their life either. They, yeah. That could be that's a model. You know what I yeah. mean, like an artist, you're dealing with models. Maybe they don't paint or they don't do music, yeah. but they're a model. They're trying to get their face out there. Right, because I'm I'm following some tattoo artists yeah. and great yeah. shops. Yeah. And tattoo stuff, artists. And they'll follow me. They'll respond to some of this stuff. And oh, yeah. hey, I know somebody that's got you know. Or I have a great back piece. It's like, yep. all right, okay. Know. I'm gonna oh, okay. I'll use it for my painting. You're the artist that did it originally. Okay, now we're all tied together with this one post, and they're gonna they're gonna post it to their stuff. They're gonna post it to their stuff, and everybody wins. That, yeah. That's that's the beautiful part about being an artist, is that hopefully you all work together and everybody eats. Everybody yeah. succeeds. You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah. it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. And, and certainly fun along the way. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 
So we're gonna get into the uh, the shotgun questions now. So these <laughs> these are the questions that I, you weren't prepped for. Um, uh, these are just to, these are just to pick your personal like uh, your personal um, interests, if you can. Right. You know your right. your, your uh, what you would rather have or what you what you like. So some people that don't know you personally, these are little things. Like I said before, if I said, "Oh, hot dogs or hamburgers." If you say hamburgers, people go, oh, I didn't know you like hamburgers. So, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You ready? All right. All right. Favorite franchise. Okay. Favorite franchise. Lakers or Celtics? Uh, Celtics. There you go. Okay. Favorite or better player? Kobe or LeBron? Oh, man, I'm from, I'm from Cleveland. What are you going to do? You can't make it easy. Yeah, all right, all right. I guess I, 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 yeah, I guess we're going to be LeBron, I guess. LeBron, all right. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> uh, better artist, okay? Better – this is a musician artist. All right. I mean, a lot of art stuff, but yeah, better yeah. musician artist. Prince or Michael Jackson? Oh, uh, Prince. Prince. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, better. Uh, my wife's gonna. My wife, when she sees this, she's gonna be, what? <laughs> she's gonna be a man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> get a headlock. What? <laughs> but like I said, you can win either way. I have people that they they, they they debate either way. So I love the. I love because it's so close. You can't really. It. That's the whole. Yeah, 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 good. yeah. better is. Yeah, better. I'm not sure people would. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, really yeah. say who's better. It's kind of oh, like yeah. who's better to you. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the next one, uh, better artist in general, better artist. All right. Da Vinci <laughs> or Picasso? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Tread uh, lightly. I, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll have to do some explaining later on for other people to ask me about this. But I'll go Da Vinci. Da Vinci. There you go. There you go. I'll go Da Vinci. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, last, the last question is more of elaborate, okay? It's more elaborate. Right. This is going to, like, the martial arts stuff that we've done. Right. 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 So you're, it's a scenario-based. So you're at a bar, okay? Yep. You're at a bar, and someone wants to fight you. Okay, so you get him. Someone's trying to fight you. Yeah, but you have a person that you can pick to help you fight. Okay, there's two guys there. One of these guys you get to pick to help you. Okay, right. but the other guy that you don't pick, your opponent gets to have to help him. Two on two. Okay, your choices are. <laughs> uh. You have um, Bruce Lee <laughs> or Jet Lee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> assuming, assuming they're both alive. All yeah, right. both. Yeah. They're, assuming they're both alive. Because right now they're, they're fine. <laughs> not, not, not like they're at, one's old and one's young. <laughs> both the same age. Both the same level. Who are you going with? All right, can I explain? Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll say Jet Li. Okay. Only because mm -hmm. I think there's a better chance of walking away from the plate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think if Bruce was with me. Uh. He'd be he'd be all right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's over. You're gonna be fighting. You're gonna You're be. Gonna fighting. Be You're gonna, You're be, gonna fighting. be fighting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had somebody yeah. that said before it was like um they were like with Bruce Lee uh you wouldn't be fighting. He would just beat the both of them. Oh <laughs> like, really? He's right. like, be like no point. Yeah, I guess I guess it wouldn't have to do anything. Actually. Yeah, so it's like but then it's like okay, well um a lot of people a lot of people compare Jet Li and Bruce Lee because Jet Li yeah. is like was known if you know his history like he's yeah. known since a little child. He won like countless wushu championships. Right. Um, oh no! And that I mean, was like a I'm, legitimate tournament, high level I'm, competition. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, yeah, and then absolutely. Bruce Lee was known for martial arts, 
but he wasn't like a competitor. Same way reason why like they had a conversation years ago about when Chuck Norris fought uh, Bruce Lee in Return of the Dragon. Yes. And like Chuck was like, yeah, he was a really good martial artist, but he couldn't beat me. Like he couldn't beat me like physically. Right. You know, yeah. Like, and people don't. To this day. Yeah. And people don't realize. Yep. And they're like, a, oh, what? Like, this. but he was like, people I don't realize what a legit competitor was. No Chuck joke, Norris man. Was. Chuck was a competitor. It's different oh. from being like a martial artist and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. And don't get me wrong, I hate talking about people because Bruce Lee is a legend. He's done so much for martial arts in general. And I don't think anyone would take anything away from him. Right. But when the people that were living, that lived and competed and trained with them, it, they would say the same thing. Like, okay, like, yeah, he was good, but he couldn't, like, he, like, it, it would be even or it would be. Every, like, yeah. Everything I know about, even, everything I know about, like, everything yeah. I've known about Jet Li is like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Jet Li is <laughs> no joke. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. joke. Yeah. No, not at all. Not at all. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting if you want to read some of the stuff with uh, mm -hmm. Chuck Norris. It sounds like you have too, but when you're yeah. when you take a look at those early tournaments, he was in his prime. There was a reason why he picked him. That, like even Bruce Lee said that there was a reason why he picked him to be in the movie. Yeah, and he, uh, yeah, and he got, yeah, and he got his, uh, he got his Taekwondo black belt. Mm -hmm. In yeah, in in Korea when they were, yep. you basically had to yep. go through some serious, serious stuff, stuff even to get accepted. It. To the, yeah, this was yeah, yep. yeah. Well, there was a, there's a lot of like I said, there's a lot of stuff there, and and no one can really know. Like um, you know, I remember uh, Michael Jai White got like kind of ridiculed for one time because he was saying he has he has more titles than most people, got more titles than Bruce Lee, and a whole bunch of yeah. stuff. You know, no one can really tell because. You never really are able to put them like in their prime and and go against each other and really right. gain, you know. But that's the reason why these questions are interesting to see where your mind would go and why, you know. So yeah, that's for me, for me, uh, yeah, from a talent perspective, as you said, I mean, yeah, uh, you know, Jet Li is definitely not just a movie star. No, no. You know, from a personality standpoint, for me, you know, two people, two people in a bar, you know, a fight. Uh, I'll look to avoid it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying well, to fight. Yeah, yeah and where right. I am now, it's like, okay, now do I have 20 minutes to stretch first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> when he's talking, <laughs> hey, when Jet's talking, I'm, I'm, I'm right with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get my good leg. <laughs> good leg. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So, uh, that's that's my all my questions I have for you. Um, uh, I, I appreciate you being on the show. Uh, where can people find you on social media? Where can they find you? Like, uh, uh, plug away. Every everything is the uh, everything's the same. McClear okay. Art. Clear so, Art. Yeah. So uh, you know, M C C L E A L E A R Art. Mm -hmm. uh, Art. So that's a handle at uh, at, at Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. Facebook. Uh, you got it. So you have all the, all the too. platforms, right? Yeah, and, platforms. and that's the website too. I try to be active on the stuff, but I have. I, I, well, as soon as as soon as I get this link, I'll have something to post. Now, well, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> see? see how that works? You, I, you, you're, you're, Look, you're, you're, help, you're helping me. I'm helping. See how it, it works? Who generate content? Like I said, come here. Come here. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's so. awesome bro like i said before you know we we know each other um for many years and yeah. i've seen this progress on all i i pray that um you know you're blessed with more success and i could see it coming um like i said anything that i can do to help let me know and definitely uh let me know when the next gallery is because i want to be there oh. um take oh, some yeah. nice pictures and, and maybe, maybe i can afford something <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe when I go, you're not too big that I can't afford it. <laughs> That'd be dope. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about, I'll, I'll uh, I, I, I'm about. Yeah, it'd be great to have. It'd be great to have you come out. Yeah, yeah. man. Let me it'd know. Be, it'd be great. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, let you, I'll definitely let you know. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Thanks. guys. To the next Thanks. episode. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Great. Thanks. Thank you so much. Take care.